Mm-hmm. All right, what's your name, bro? My name is Rabbit. Rabbit? Mm-hmm. How old are you? 20. What's your current situation? I got arrested for armed robbery, possession of a controlled substance while armed, distribution, possession of a firearm by a felon, and two failure to appears. So you just got, got out of jail or what? Mm-hmm. How long ago did you get out? Like two hours ago. Why'd they send you out like that? Because they arrested me and I was butt-ass naked. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Yeah. But so, she... where are you going right now? Home. Do you have a place to stay? I live in a trap house. Do you? Yeah. How did you end up in that situation like that? So, I'm from Oregon. And when I was 16, my dad died at 90 years old. And it caused me to be homeless. Yeah. So, I've just been state hopping, you know? Where were you staying in Oregon? My dad's house. Okay. But when he died, I couldn't pay the rent, so I just left. And you were homeless for a little bit out there, right? Yeah. Do they have like a skid row or something like okay, that? Okay, so check there? it out. In Oregon, they're illegal, right? And so yeah. is homelessness. So you could pitch up a tent anywhere in Portland, and they won't yeah. with you. Yeah. You were in a tent out there in mm -hmm. Portland? Yeah. Where are you staying at now, right now? Uh, 47th and in Encanto. You have a tent there? No. No? So there's this abandoned house. That has a guest house in the back that like seven of us stay in. All right. So you're staying in a bandle. Yeah. What they call it a bandle, right? Mm hmm What do you do to survive out here, bro? Steal. I walk into the store, you know, like Walgreens. Because there's no night shift security over at the Walgreens on Indian School. Yeah. I can hit that shit six, seven times a day. Walgreens on Indian School and what? 51st. Oh, okay. Mm hmm Then I'll go with the Walmart. 99 cent store of the Dollar Tree. That's crazy, bro. I actually frequent that store a lot. <laughs> that's crazy. Man, but and that's just going to end up putting you in jail for a long time or prison, bro. Yeah. You're not concerned about that? like you, I am, dude, but I have to live, that? you know? Like, I can't get a job. I have a lot of charges in a lot of different states, and it's kind of just my life over, you know? Yeah. So your grandpa was the only family? My dad. Had? Or your dad. Sorry yeah. about that. Your dad was your only family mm -hmm. that you had? What about your mom? I haven't seen my mom since I was in the third grade. That uh, taken away by CPS. I, yeah. What about you have any siblings? No. Um, uncles, aunts, no. anything like that? I have a daughter. You have a daughter? Where's she at right now? Oregon. With the baby mom? Mm-hmm. And do you keep in contact with them at all? Yeah. I went and saw her last month. Okay. That's good, Well, man. she came and saw me, but... How old's your daughter? Three. Is she like, Daddy, I want you to come home. <clears throat> No. She actually it hurt my feelings because she didn't know who I was. Yeah. It was the first time I saw her since she was born. Okay. Yeah. But I'm going to try to get back what home, about you your know. your baby mama? What does she say? She don't like me that much. No? No. Is she already, like, in another relationship and all that? No. No? She wants to try to make it work, but she wants me to get off the... So she wants you to be clean so yeah. you could go back with her. Why don't you just do that, bro? I've been Is thinking about it, man. I haven't been fucking up my life, you know, like... Isn't that just... An easier way of living? Yeah, but it's hard because I I was born on the you know? Yeah. Like, even when I went back to my dad, like, he kept giving me Okay. And so, like, it's hard for me to get off, you know? So it's a family. Thing. And I have no, like, support system at all. Okay. So it runs in the family yeah. already. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. I'm bro. breaking the cycle. My daughter don't. My daughter's never going to know what she is. At least until she's old enough to know. I hope so, man. Yeah. Um, is it dangerous out here on these streets or what? Yeah. What kind of stuff do you guys go through out here? Dude, two weeks ago, someone tried to rob me. And it was actually the first time I got arrested here. It's because I pulled out a gun and I shot at him. Not, I didn't hit him, but you know, I, I shot at him, which is a charge. Yeah. Bonded out, and then just got, fucking got picked up again. Fucking Have stupid. you made it up to prison or no. it's just been jail time? In California, I'm facing 30 years. Are you? Yeah. So you what, are you absconding from that state or what? I, if I, I won't go back there. When I go back to Oregon, I gotta go through Vegas. You have charges out there, they could take you back though, right? No. Extradite you back? Riverside County doesn't extradite. Riverside does it? No. Oregon don't extradite either. Where were you staying at in Riverside County? Uh, fucking my best friend Stephanie's house in Lake Elsinore. Oh, okay. Okay, Lake Elsinore. Yeah. I used to stay out there too in yeah. Riverside County. Yeah, not, not yeah. in Lake Elsinore though. You know where Southwest is? Yeah. Fuck Southwest. I know. <laughs> uh, uh, 
I had I had the address in my head, but I forget. It's like Ball Road or something like that. I forget. I'll tell you, though, Maricopa County is the worst state I've ever been arrested in. It, it's worse here, yeah, because of the food. It's That's not even the food. It worse. But there's I mean, no the politics, fucking. There's no windows on any of the cell yeah. doors or anything. It's fucking freezing in there. They keep those lights on so fucking late. I can't sleep with the lights on and shit. What about the politics though? It's bad. Is it worse in California or are they worse here? Here. Are they? Yeah. The first day I was in, I got in two fights. Over some bullshit. It's stupid. That's crazy, man. Yeah. So, what do you plan to do? Like, do you plan to go to a program or anything like that? Well, to to if I don't street? report to uh, my probation officer, which I may or may not just end up leaving, but <laughs> I'm going back to jail. I'll probably end up going to prison. Is that all you see for your future? No. I want to leave. I want to go back to Oregon, you know, like, because Oregon doesn't extradite. And I want to set something up for my life that's going to get me my daughter and keep me somewhere where I'm, like, not doing this shit no more. Well, why are you already thinking of not reporting, though, bro? You know? Because thinking positive, like you know what? This time I'm gonna do it right. I'm gonna go report. Then I can't leave the state. If I go to Oregon, they don't extradite, you know. Yeah. And then I'll just, you know. But then you know that eventually you're gonna end up coming back. You know, eventually, if you have cases pending in every single state, they're gonna find a way to extradite you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy, man. So. What are you gonna do today? Go home. Eventually. Back to the trap house? Mm hmm. Just so I can get my car and my stuff, and I'm gonna see if I can get back to Oregon or something. I wanna see if they'll transfer my probation to Oregon. Yeah. So that way, you know, I can, like, contact CPS yeah. and get something set up where I can get my daughter back. You're probably gonna have to do a lot of work. Yeah, I know. A lot of stuff, bro. Um, when you were a little kid, let's say eight years old, what did you want to be when you grew up? Like, what kind of dreams did you have? I had a really shitty life. Honestly, when I was eight years old, I didn't think I'd live to be this old, you know? Like... You were just raised by your dad, that's it? Mm-hmm. When I was in the third grade, my mom, haven't seen her since. They told my dad if he did not divorce her, that he would not get me back. Yeah. So he did. Yeah, my dad died at almost 100 years old. Almost what? 100 years old. 100 years ago. Almost 100 years old. Oh, almost 100 years he old. He died at 98. How old was he when he had you? 80? 80? My mom was young. He was putting in work at 80 years old? Mm-hmm. That's crazy, man. If anybody watches this interview and and they want to help you out in any sort of way, bro. Like, how can they contact you? Do you have an email? Do you have any contact information that you want to share? I got Snapchat. Got Pothead Snapchat. Shifu. How do you spell it out? P-O-T-H-E-A-D-S-H-I-F-U. What kind of stuff do you need out here? I don't know. Somewhere to go, really. If I wasn't at that trap house, I wouldn't have got arrested for all this shit. I got charged because nobody claimed anything there, and everyone took off. And I was the only one who didn't get away when a cop showed up. So I got charged for all that shit that's in that fucking house. Everything. If you have any youngsters watching this interview, bro, and they're thinking that running the streets is... It ain't. It's cool. Look at me. I, I've seen little kids get shot and killed out here. I've seen people get fucking straight kidnapped. It's fucking, it's not the life, you know? It's those fucking blues, really, is what fucked my life up, you know? Yeah. Which just ain't the way to go, you know? Yeah, that's not... That's not living, live. that's existing. And existing sucks. You want to live, you know? Exactly. Fuck, I burnt a hole in my fucking cup. All right, man. Well, thank you for sharing your story. I really do appreciate you it. Too. Are you okay with me posting this on my YouTube of channel? Of course. All right, man. Thank yeah. you. Appreciate no it.